Hey guys, back here in the Gen 4 Duramax, we're gonna go over another vehicle function. This one's a little more complex. This would be more for your technicians or shops that are working on a vehicle. So go into functions here. We're gonna do the crankshaft relearn. So if you have to replace that sensor, if you replace an ECU, the batteries get disconnected for too long, anything like that, that you're getting an error code that that needs to be relearned or reset, we're gonna go in and run that. So read through the instructions before you proceed. Get your vehicle into a safe place because you're gonna to need to run the vehicle and then follow the steps on the screen. Okay, again, make sure that you're in a safe environment. And if we're following along with these steps, we need to have started the engine, make sure that we've gotten to 158 degrees or higher. We're gonna turn the engine off for 10 seconds, wait. We're gonna start the engine back up. We're gonna apply the parking brake. We continue. This gonna tell us that we need to begin revving the engine until the fuel cutoff goes into effect. The fuel cutoff happens when we've got the throttle in the wide open position, the fuel throttle or the cutoff will automatically decrease the RPM. When that happens, we're going to release the throttle. So we begin. We've got that crankshaft relearn is finished. So we're going to exit there. We're gonna go back into our main menu, go to the DTCs. We've got that. If we've got that crankshaft position code, we're gonna clear those codes. And our check engine light has gone away. Make sure you follow us for more videos. As always, thanks for watching. Check out these videos and make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more EasyLink content. And we'll see you in the next one.